everyone. So I'm trying, uh, first of all, I'm trying a new microphone out, uh, trying a bit of a new setup uh, like for vlogging. So hopefully you can hear me well. Um, the camera is the same, the phone is the same, uh, which is a shit phone at the moment. It's a Moto G6, Motorola G6, which is a budget phone, which at the time I bought because I thought I just simply need a phone, you know? Just a, a phone that I can message B when I'm outside the house and whatever, but <laughs> it's kind of awful. So anyway, getting on to the point, I'm now walking to get my, uh, pick my bike up. It's, it's been like a week and the, it, no, in fact, it's been a week and one day. You had to order some custom parts, things like that, because like I was saying in, uh, I think it was the previous video on this same topic, that, um, because it's like a, a no name brand bike, they've had to kind of like, they can't just stick the forks on, like the forks should just probably fit a Trek or a Specialized or a Giant. But because it's not those that brand, it's like no, no name brand. And they've had to essentially customize it so it fits. So I'm literally just walking there now. I've told them to leave the, uh, the top part of the forks so that I can, because at the moment, it, my, my friend who had it was a bit taller than me, um, so that meant he was probably a bit longer. And also, it's a uh, aggressive uh, triathlon style, uh, style setup. So I don't want it quite as aggressive. Uh, I'm actually walking quite slow, if you're noticing, just so that I don't get to the shop before I've finished. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's an aggressive setup. And I just want it a little bit higher, just like I had my specialized bike. Um, that worked really well. I ended up doing the same kind of thing on that. And uh, someone just let me buy, so I was just thanking him. Um, I actually had the same aggressive setup on the specialized, uh, non aggressive setup where it was higher, and it worked really well for me. So, anyway, I hope this vlog's working right. I hope the microphone works okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just about to go in the shop now, so I'll let you know what I find out. Okay, so um, we have the bike here. Um, as you can see, they've put on the new forks. Um, but as per my request, they've not cut the, uh, this piece. So if you look, it's a very, uh, very aggressive setup. So I'm going to try and have it so that it's less, less aggressive, but a bit more comfortable for those long rides. Also, it looks like they've, uh, they've fixed this as well. So hopefully, hopefully that holds up this time. Okay, so he's got some um, spaces out and he's going to uh, lift it up for me a little bit. But he warned me not to do go too far because then it will push it back so then it will be slightly unstable at high speed. This is, uh, this is what remains of the old fox. Uh, scrap. So as you can see, I've, uh, I've got it fully finished. Um, I've got these little spacers on and I've got them to now place the handlebars flat. So as you can see, it's, um, yeah, it works perfectly. Okay, so all's looking good. Uh, I've got the bike now, I've paid and everything, and uh, I'm just gonna give it a little uh, test ride around the, around the block, see what it's like. Obviously, uh, there's no point in me giving it a good test ride in like a week's time and then coming back to the store. Um, if I give it a little test ride now and if something's off, um, then obviously I can just go straight back in. So I'm just going to do that now. Uh, I'm not going to vlog it whilst I'm riding because I, A, I need to get my confidence back and B, I'm tr it, it's kind of been a wake up call for me. So I'm going to play it extra safe. So these are the, uh, the new forks. And, uh, they're looking pretty good and they're looking quite neutral to the bike. It doesn't look, you know, like a cut and shut kind of thing. So yeah, just um, just literally got back uh, from, from the shop and everything seems good. It's um, 
The only thing that I, I will say it's going to take a little getting used to is it feels a little bit sensitive, but that's essentially my own fault for having the um, having the stem lifted a little bit. So really, I can either cut that, and if it doesn't work out, I can cut it or whatever, or I can get a longer stem, whatever. But either way, um, I wanted to have the option to raise it a little bit. Um, it doesn't feel uncontrollable, it just feels a little more sensitive than normal. However, from the specialised and just the way that things are, I'm kind of used to having a little bit more sensitivity, um, you know, from having shorter stems and stuff in the past. So, um, like I said, it, it does feel nice. Uh, however, I can always lengthen this, or, well, always get a longer stem or whatever. I mean, they're only five pounds or something, so... All is well, <laughs> the bike's back uh, next week, start training, so uh, watch the space, uh, I'll try and bring you some vlogs and things like that, um, when it's safe to do so, and yeah, so keep, keep uh, give this video a like for me getting my bike fixed and uh, the bike not being a write-off, and uh, subscribe to the channel for more, see you soon everyone.